Mr. Hudson, we are back. It is Tuesday, October 20th. Can you believe that? We're so close to book character dress up day. More information on that later. Oh, but happy wow. Tuesday to you, Mr. Hudson. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great. Good morning, Mr. Bland. Well, it is a beautiful, crisp fall morning. It is day seven of our specials rotation. It is October 20th. This is Morris Brandon. Let's do it. All right, boys and girls, you know what to do. Place that hand over your heart. Let's see what we have today. Great job. That is Will from Miss Garcia's class, Mr. Bland. My man, Will. Great job. And you can tell that we had a ton of our Spanish uh, Pledge of Allegiance video submissions because we're still showing them. It's great. Yeah, we have more. Let's keep it coming. All right, boys and girls, as we roll in towards mid to late October, remember we are focusing on what it means to be open-minded. Today, I want to talk about the second bullet point. Open-minded people are able to have their ideas challenged. Hmm, what does that seem like? Well, to me, that means this. A lot of times when people challenge our ideas, our beliefs, we are so set in our ideas and beliefs that it is difficult for us to understand where they are coming from. I think this is a perfect example that shows that an open-minded person, no matter what they believe in, no matter their ideals or their viewpoints, when somebody challenges their beliefs, they stop, they listen, and they consider whether or not that's a belief that they should believe in as well. So I think it's very important to know that open-minded people are okay with people telling them they don't necessarily agree with them. And I think, Mr. Bland, the best word that you used in that sentence was consider. Because even if you end up not agreeing, at least you consider their point of view. And that's something that we should always do. Very good point. So carrying on with responsible decision making and our SEL moment. So for SEL this week, we are focusing on digital citizenship. And today we're talking about our digital footprints. What does your digital footprint say about you? How does what you post online affect your identity? Talk with your parents and family members about how they interact with others digitally. What's the tone of your typing? How do you greet people? If someone were to look at your digital image, how do you appear? It's very important now, and it's important in your future because jobs look at our digital profile. You apply for a job, and they actually look at, oh, what type of person is this? Let's check their Facebook, Twitter, or whatever they may have in the future as technology changes, they will look at that. So be mindful of what you post, what goes online about you, because once it posts, it stays there forever like a footprint. And people can walk backwards in your life and see what type of person you are. So what image do you want to present? My favorite part of the day, it's joke time. Mr. Hudson, what gets more wet? the more it dries. Hmm. What gets more wet, the more it dries? That's... It's like a riddle. I don't know. What I do don't have? know. I should have known that. <laughs> a towel. A towel. Dries. Gets wet. I get it. Burb. Makes sense. All right. Happy birthday to Cole Pratt. And Haley Sullivan, happy birthday. Have a great day. All right, parent updates. Just stay tuned. We have some exciting things coming our way for our students as we roll into the end of October, November for Thanksgiving, December for holidays. Be on the lookout, students. We, are got, our, we got our student engagement team on it, and we can't wait to roll out some exciting things coming your way. But Mr. Hudson? Mr. Bland. It's Tuesday. Let's get started with our day. Have a great day. Have a great day.